This is a Kawasaki H2 1971 according to the VIN. I'm trying to give you a slow shot here and I'll get to the VIN number so you can actually see the bike. I'm trying to move very slowly so you can get everything in. It's got about 20 years of dust still on the bike. I can wipe it off for you. It's been sitting in our basement for over 20 years. Painted. Except for the bodywork has not been painted. This bike has only been preserved, not restored. It has Emron clear over black. This is a unique bike. We have a bunch of parts we found for it, such as the brake bracket here. There's an extended one we have. We have pictures of that. The back brake rod is extended as well. We have pictures of that. We just have a, another year one on the bike, like a 73. Original foot pegs. Everything is original other than the clutch cover. We have a clutch cover, I believe. It may be spider web, but it's, it's not bad. Just happened to put the prettier, prettier one on the bike. Everything's stock. I'll get to the VIN number. Let me show you some gauges. This one's a little lighter, may have been replaced in the past. Just like the center carburetor, there's two vacuum carburetors, they're all stamped. H2. They have brass slides and the carburetors must have broke the center carburetor because they gave them a vacuum carburetor as a replacement maybe back in the day because they have plastic guide pins in these early carburetors and they break. So they must have given a, another vacuum carburetor off the shelf because they didn't have a another stock one just a non-vacuum but here's the brass slides they all have brass slides all marked H2 and there's also some Japanese symbol on the front of this carburetor here I took pictures so maybe they'll come out also these bikes are unique the frames welded here by the shifters on the early ones, I think the first 1200, 1400, I'm not sure. By the shifter, it's welded down the seam here, if you can see that. We have the chain guard, it's unpainted. Here's the battery box, the stock fuse, the wires, the chain oiler. The grab bar, the blinkers, and they're pretty nice. There's dings in the pipes, but what normal H2 didn't have them, that was ridden anyway. We may also have the foot pegs that have the bolts in the end. I'm looking for those still. In the book, in the picture, it shows bolts in the blue book in the ends of the foot peg. Uh, this shifter cover needs replaced. It has the numbers on it. I don't know if we have the original one or not. We're still looking. Got a Yokohama tire on it. Right there. I really don't like the treads on them, but I guess they're stock. 
This also has like a stainless steel brake line bracket. It's not painted. I don't know. Plastic headlight dome. That screws in from the back. The back screws mount through the back of the headlight dome. The steering dampener is marked uh, 71L. There it is, 71L. If you can read it. These cylinders have no broken fins. They're standard bore, stock pistons, type one cylinders. I believe these, on these type of engines, the early ones, you have to lift up the center cylinder in order to take off the right cylinder or both right and left cylinder. I'm not sure, I believe that's how it works. You have to lift it because of the casting of the center cylinder or right, I'm not sure. But I know you have to lift it up to get the other two off, or one off. Must be on the first models, and then they change that, I guess. I'm not sure. Or change the casting of the cylinders. Wrinkle paint, tax. The gauges are really nice. The blinkers, I don't know what numbers they are stock, but they seem to be the more amber ones more yellow than orange. Two cycle pump cover has some scuff scratches, no broken fins. The VIN number, like I said, and they seem to be in different places. The date is on top. The VIN number is on the bottom on this early one. My 73 I think is opposite. I have a 73 as well, purple one. Got the stock mirrors. They're, nothing's tightened down on the bike, it's just assembled. Except for the engine. Everything else is kind of loose. We didn't want to chip the paint when we painted it 20 years ago, so. But we have all the parts basically. Some, if we don't have, you may get off another person on eBay or who knows. But we have all the little clips, all the things. Even the, uh, there's a brake bracket on here, but we have another one that doesn't have the top hook like this. Notice they have two hooks, bottom hook, top hook. The one we have doesn't have the top hook, and that's the way it shows it in the blue book owner's manual or service manual, the blue one. We have pictures of that as well. But this bike is a preservation and not a restoration. All we did was paint the frame, and we were gonna paint the body parts, but never got to it. So anything that's black has been painted, except for the chain guard, it's in the basement. We do have it though. A lot of unique things on this bike. I believe the rake is different. There's one pipe in the front. Notice that. Where the 73s and such had uh, two pipes for the bolts. It just has a short bolt at the bottom. And it is very shiny. This has been sitting for 20 years and it's got a mirror almost finished to it. It's just, and there's dust on it. The paint's pretty nice. I mean, you may be able to see the dust here and I'd be maybe able to wipe it off a little bit and see. Really shiny and nice. Yeah? Look, with me holding my arm out arm, a window or something, uh -uh. or do you want uh -uh. me to take the truck? Uh-uh. I mean, I, I don't want to drag.